Hey guys, welcome back for day four, I think, of 25 days of Vlogmas. Today it's going to be a Lolita blog carnival, so it's just going to be kind of a short, talky little video today. The topic for this week was what could you change about yourself if you could go back to when you first started Lolita. And I spent a long time thinking about this and I can only really think of two big things because a lot of things are insignificant and probably led to where I am now and I wouldn't want to change those. The first thing that I would definitely want to change about myself would probably be um, to save my money and go for quality, not quantity. I know that's a cliche, but a lot of times when I was just starting, I would find a really good deal on something I liked and want to buy it. And I would tell myself, I would go back and tell myself, no, wait, stop. <laughs> save your money so that you can buy something that you'll love and you won't want to sell later because I still have pieces, you know, hanging right up there on my window that I'm trying to sell right now on Lace Market because, okay, well, one of them, one of them not so much, one of them I, I actually really did like, um, but, and it's just, I buy things that are just really good deals and then mm, it's hard for me to sell them later when I stop liking them, so, yeah, a lot of wasted money down the drain from that problem. The second thing is I would tell myself that I wouldn't tell myself not to go on sites like Behind the Bows and Lolly Secrets. Um, as I, when Lolly Secrets was still around. Eh. But because, I don't know, I would more tell myself to focus on how much secrets about me hurt and not really focus on them as in like dwell on it and say, oh, everybody hates me blah blah blah, because I did go through that a little bit and it's kind of stupid to do that. It just makes the problem worse. But I would tell myself, you know what, just remember how much this hurt and don't post anything online that wouldn't get you another secret like this. I know that seems kind of weird and it seems counterintuitive because most people will just tell you to ignore it, don't bother, they're just haters, but haters hate on something for a reason. And while most of the time it's unfounded and they're just jealous or they're projecting their insecurities and problems onto you, um, that is true. But sometimes you do have to think, well, you know what? Because if I call you an Ita or like Fetty Chan, I know that was a big thing. I don't think it is anymore, hopefully, because that was really stupid. But like if people are calling you mean or you know, spreading drama about you. I know secrets every week, there's some drama going on about some girl in the community and it's really hurtful, but I mean, what I've learned now that I wish I could tell my baby Lolita self was, you know, don't post things, don't post negative things online that you may regret later because people only see a snapshot of your lives on social media and especially in Lolita, where a lot of people only see you online and through social media, that carries a lot of weight. So, you know, like, if you're worried about people posting about you and commenting on things about you, don't post online. I know that sounds kind of mean, but I wish I could have told myself that because I know a lot of people don't like me because of things that they've seen online, probably. And, you know, I can't help that. People, there are always going to be people who don't like you in all areas of life. Yeah, I don't really want to turn this into a behind the bows video or internet bullying video, but I kind of just wanted to say that if I could go back and tell my younger Lolita self, I would tell me <laughs> that, you know, don't post things online that could make somebody dislike you because friends are hard to make online and you want to keep as many as you can and not scare them off with rumors that you can't control. Yeah. That got kind of down. That was kind of a downer. So that's kind of all. Like I said at the beginning, it's just going to be kind of a short video because most things I wouldn't want to tell myself 
to change because then I wouldn't be where I am now, you know? So I'm that kind of person. I hope you enjoyed hearing these things. If you're just beginning in Lolita, follow these. Don't do what I did. Um, but yeah, I will put the link to Lolita Blog Carnival and my blog post on this topic down below. Make sure to subscribe, like this video if you like Lolita Blog Carnival videos. I know I don't do them every week, but try to do them sometimes. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!